Okay, let's talk about where to put your CO2 diffuser. And uh, most of the time you want to put it someplace where uh, there's good water flow, good water circulation. I have mine right in front of where the filter flows back into the tank. It's just kind of sitting amongst the weeds. I don't have it attached to the wall or anything because I couldn't find a good spot where the bubbles were distributed nicely. Um, but this spot is pretty good because the bubbles get um, pushed this way toward the front wall and you can kind of see they travel across the tank and they actually get sucked back toward the back wall again because I have the power head creating a counterclockwise flow going this way and then coming back around so that just keeps the bubbles in the water for as long as possible and that way you're not wasting a lot of CO2 um, because otherwise if you just have it in like a dead spot in the corner of your tank and with no flow the bubbles are just going to go right up to the top and then um, you're going to waste a lot of CO2 that way. Uh, also some people have it so um, they have like an inline CO2 diffuser where it's attached to like the output of your of a canister filter that way the bubbles are introduced into the water um, for an even longer period of time and a lot of those systems have like a hundred percent absorption of the co2 into the water so you're not wasting anything and that way you can uh, theoretically use less co2 in the long run so that's going to save you money and uh, you also don't have the bubbles kind of floating around for some people that's really distracting um, I really I don't mind it you kind of get used to it but uh, I definitely enjoy looking at the tank without the little micro bubbles or the mist floating around everywhere uh, so if you have any questions or need a suggestion on something leave that in the comments below and thanks for watching